church uh, because a friend of mine is getting baptized so the last time I have been in a church like this one like 10 years or something I am very um, curious about how it's going to be and um, my plan is to go to church and then to walk some more to burn off those calories that I ate the day before yesterday I told you guys before I ate like a chocolate bar a few chocolates uh, Easter eggs and then um, some marshmallows. I still have to burn like 560 calories, I think. I'm also very bloated the past few days, so that's very annoying. But yeah. Oh, and about the food that uh, that person brought with them the day before yesterday. Yeah, I did give it away to my sister. Uh, most of it, not all of it. I have not. Wow, look at those pig trees. Hey there, Lemon. So I'm just casually sitting on the sidewalk and um, yeah, just resting up a bit. I have got 3,000 steps in for today and I'm planning on getting like 8,000. So I have a little bit more walking to do, but um, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna get up and I'm going to get walking. Hey little lemon, so I wanted to show you this moment. I'm just eating right here with my water, food, and look. They're all watching me. So yeah, I do feel a little bit stopped right now. Good morning little lemon. So right now I am on my way to get the vaccine. Yesterday I did go for a walk. I ended up walking like 6.5 kilometers so about 8,000 steps I think it's raining it's a shitty day but you have to wear like short sleeves so they can get you vaccinated easily um, so yeah that's why I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt but I do have a sweatshirt with me so that's okay yeah yesterday rough day I went to church where a lot of things a lot of flashbacks a lot of I don't know internal anger and I don't know, it's, it was a hard day and especially the evening, I was like, let's do this, you know, let's do this, go to church, it's not a big deal. But then when I sat there, I noticed that it took a lot out of me, 
emotionally it was very draining for me. So after the service I went for a big walk. That helped a little, but then in the evening negative thoughts returned and very depressed thoughts. And yeah, it wasn't fun. So I did end up sending an email to my uh, psychiatrist. I did change to a higher dose of my medicine, my antidepressant. And I don't know, I'm feeling not the best, the best three weeks. And I think maybe it can be like the medicine, it can be like the food, maybe I'm eating uh, not enough uh, because I'm tired all, all the time. When I go to sleep, I cannot find rest in my sleep. I dream a lot. Like tonight, I had horrible dreams about people dying, children dying, being chased, being blamed for stuff, and yeah, anxiety dreams, I think. So, uh, yeah, I was driving again over this dead animal. I don't like that. Ugh. So, I have 15, 16, 17 minutes to get there. So, that's okay, I'm going to make it. Yeah, that was my day yesterday. So, um, eating was great. I did sleep for a few hours in the afternoon. I was very glad with that. So, tonight I slept like seven hours. So, it was a short night again, three days in a row. And tomorrow I'll have to get up at 6 a.m., I think. So, also a very short night. I don't know. My eyes are hurting. I have a lot of pain in my muscles because of, I think, a lack of sleep. And that's one of the other reasons that I may be feeling like shit. So my medication, sleep deprivation, or maybe the food I'm eating. It is raining right now, but I do think I am going for um, a walk anyway. It's not very busy on the road. I think everyone is in bed on their free day. I don't blame them. I could have used some more hours of sleep, but um, I don't mind getting up early. Hey little lemon, so I have been vaccinated. And right now I'm going to the store to pick some things up. It is 9.12 a.m. So parking fee was free, so that's always good. And um, yeah, going to pick some things up and I'll talk to you later. My cat's just scratching his nails up there. It's like my closet. And then on top of my closet, I've got this little fluffy thing. He's from Fairy Tale, Happy. Then I got my wind blow thingy. I got it covered because I cleaned it all and I didn't want it to get dirty again with dust. And then we've got my cat right there. <laughs> they like to sit in high places, so yeah. I put up that uh, sleep thing up there and they love it. And then there you can just see, um, I keep their brushes up there. So that's it. Yeah, they're yours. Hey, the lemon. So I just woke up. I have slept for like two more hours. So I'm pretty happy with that. I have to go to the store. So first I'm going to eat some lunch. It's pretty late for lunch. It's almost 3 p.m. But um, yeah, better late than never. And my arm isn't too bad. Uh, I just feel a sort of burning sensation. But oh, and I also have to get out a chicken for tonight. Last time I made that cream dish with uh, mushrooms and chicken. I want to eat that tonight. I don't want to waste the cream I used back then. So that's a while ago. So I have to taste test it to see if it's still okay. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh wow, look at this thing. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. So bon appetit. Quick little grocery haul. I got some parmigiano, then some um, mini potatoes. I wanted to bake them and then I want to use them with some white asparagus and then some white asparagus sauce. Some Caesar dressing for my salad because I ran out. Some bananas, of course, for my morning shakes. Some uh, mushrooms, little... Uh... What's that? Get off. Get off. Hey. No, no, no. You won't get dinner until two more hours. <laughs> yeah, so some lettuce for my uh, salads, some milk for my morning shakes too. And then lastly, these ice creams. They only contain like 50 calories each, so it makes a perfect snack for a hot summer day. Maybe I got carried away because I still got like 20 of them in my freezer, but that's okay. So that's everything I bought today. And then I got 5,419 steps in. 